Hello, this is Sam back for another epic installment of Holy Week East and West, and today is Holy Monday. So traditionally, there's a couple big events celebrated on Holy Monday, um, that be Jesus cursing the fig tree, um, people questioning his authority and Jesus answering back to them. But what the church wants us to focus on, at least this year, is Jesus cleansing the temple. Now, at least for me, this story's always been memorable because I've always kind of remembered this one as the angry Jesus story, but this actually has a lot of important meat to it that we should really be feasting on. So, if anybody doesn't know, in modern LDS doctrine, we have temples. Temples are incredibly important to us. In our last conference, we just had 15 temples now, including two in my home city of California. Very exciting. And we believe that this is where we can become closer to God and we can worship God and we can perform ordinances to make covenants with God. But in order to do so, we must ourselves be clean to enter the temple. Now, I want to clarify something that many people, including members of our own church, can get wrong about this. The temple does not get in the way of your salvation. Your worthiness for the temple does not get in the way of your salvation. You should be striving to be worthy to go into the temple, but ultimately it is your price is paid through Christ, right? Christ can help you as well become clean for the temple and what we are going to be talking about today. So here in the temple in Jerusalem, there have been cows and cattle and sheep and whatnot, all types of animals. And I'm, I couldn't tell you all of what type they are, but they're animals used for sacrifices in the temple and they're being sold for personal gain. And so Jesus flips over the tables and he runs the people who are selling the cattle and whatever animals are in there out. And this is what he says. And he taught saying unto them, is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And so, this outlines the purpose of the temple. It is a house of prayer. It is a house of covenant making. It is not a house of thieves. In fact, I think there's deeper symbolism in what he is doing in running out the sellers of the sheep and um, saying this is not a house of thieves. The reason why selling the sheep was wrong, according to the law of Moses, is that people had to come and make their own sacrifices. This is even what happened with Cain and Abel. Um, Abel was using sheep of his own to sacrifice animals, I should say, because I don't know for sure, of his own to sacrifice to God, whereas Abel was giving vegetables, right? And... According to the law back then, this was not acceptable. And this shows what we need to do now. We need to be making our own sacrifices to enter the temple. That is our cleansing of the temple. But as I've iterated earlier in this video, uh, we need to not confuse our temple worthiness with our worth to God, right? Christ makes it so that we are able to be worthy to go into the temple because guess what? We all struggle with something, right? We all struggle with some sort of sin, with some sort of vice. I'm sure we all have had times where we are not temple worthy. And guess what? That's okay because we have Christ to help us pay that debt. But we must put in the effort. We must cleanse our own temple. Anyways, guys, this was the second video in this series. I'm hoping, you know, over time I just learn and progress and I'm able to make better videos. But... I just felt very inspired to start making these videos, and I'm very excited to see where this takes us. So, in the meantime, I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I will see you next time.